Welcome to yoga. Have fun. Do what feels good for you. If something's not feeling right or good or painful, don't do it. There's always, you have that option and the decision is yours whether you want to take the practice a bit farther or deeper or maybe tonight it is more restorative and uh, relaxing for you. So you get to make the call. So let's go ahead and get started in a comfortable seated position. Uh, and we'll start with some nice grounding exercises and breathing. So we're sitting up nice and tall. And just tap into yourself, your physical body, and notice where you can let go a bit. And oftentimes we can hold tension through um, hips, shoulders, sometimes around the neck, um, through the muscles of the face. So if you'd like to start maybe gently moving from side to side here, taking the neck into some twists and turns just to loosen some things up, go ahead and do that. And as you're moving gently, tap into your breath. So the breath is such a powerful tool. Take a deep, full breath. Inhale through the nose nice and long. And a big exhale out. Do that a couple more times. Nice, big, full breath in. Exhale the breath out. And one more time, deep breath in. And exhale, let it go. So gently opening the eyes up. Allow the hands to come to um, the knees and we're gonna do some seated cat cow. So be gentle through your elbows and fingertips and as you inhale, start to kind of curve in the spine. Let the heart lift up and maybe gaze up at the ceiling if it's okay on the neck. Breath in. Exhale your breath out. Um, hug the chin towards the chest, kind of straighten through the arms a bit and curl and round in the spine now. So we're hugging belly button um, towards your spine and then inhale, reverse. So let the heart and gaze lift up, breath in. And exhale, let it go. Round your spine, tuck your chin. And two more times, inhale, breath lift up. And exhale, let it go. So as we're exhaling and rounding the spine, the, uh, our shoulders are moving away from the spine. And then inhale, shoulder blades now kind of wrapping and hugging towards the spine, gaze up, heart lifts. And last time, exhale, let it go, round the spine, hug the chin in. And inhale, lift the heart up, let the gaze come up. And on a slow exhale, find your way back to neutral. All right, hug the shoulders up towards your ears a couple times. Exhale, let them fall and round down the back. And again, inhale, squeeze and hug them up. Exhale, let it go. And one more time, inhale, hug the shoulders up, breath in. Oh, here we go. Exhale, release. And gently bring your hands uh, to your mat. Inhale, reach your left arm up nice and high. Reach to the fingertips and exhale, reach over towards your right. Leave the right hand and forearm on the ground if you'd like and come into a bit of a deeper stretch. Maybe you gaze up towards the ceiling and feel a stretch around the left hip, the left ribs. And on an exhale, float your way back through center, however that looks like. Maybe you crawl over and then left hand on the floor. Inhale, reach the right arm up nice and high. And exhale, reach. Stay for another breath. Maybe you drop down to the forearm of the, your left hand and really reach with your right fingertips. And another breath in. And exhale, let it go. Back up to center. And again, inhale, reach your left arm up. And exhale, reach over to your right. Stay for the inhale. And exhale, come back up through center. So we're just kind of picking up the pace a little bit here, if that sounds good to you. Inhale, reach your right arm up. 
Exhale, reach over to your left. Let's stay for one. Inhale, big breath in. And exhale, come back up through center. And we'll come into a spinal twist. So sitting up nice and tall, we'll inhale, reach the arms up towards the ceiling. And exhale, twist to your right. So the spine is lengthening up towards the ceiling. And now the shoulder blades, they're squeezing together. They're wrapping around the spine. And however you need to feel supported with um, your fingertips and hands, see if you can hug that belly button in and twist a bit more over the right shoulder. Exhale, come back to center. Big breath in, reach the arms up. And exhale, twist. You see if the heart can lift a bit more. And as you exhale, twist a bit. Glancing over that left shoulder, picture the shoulder blades just wrapping around your spine. So as the shoulders squeeze in towards one another, it's letting the heart and chest open a bit more through the front of the body. And exhale, come back to your center. Go ahead and reach for your right foot and right knee. We'll just warm up the hips here quickly. And there's always that option to wrap the spine, oh wow, wrap the shin in your arms as you interlace the hands. So that can kind of just be a bit, and it gives you a deeper stretch through that right glute as you hug the, your right leg in. So you decide. And then maybe drop your right hand to the floor for support, kick out that left leg, and take a breath and squeeze your right leg in. And exhale, drop the right foot over the left leg. All right, sit up nice and tall, and when you've got that length, inhale, reach your left arm up. Awesome, exhale, twist. Notice the gaze, so if you have a desire to twist deeper. Notice if you can let the gaze kind of bring you there. So start creeping that gaze a bit more over that right shoulder. Notice how you can kind of start to feel more of a twist happening just by shifting your gaze. Take a slow exhale, come back through center. And we'll just gently twist to the other side. So maybe you breathe in, reach your right arm up if that feels good. And twist over towards the left. And another breath in. And exhale back through center. Drop into a seated tree. <clears throat> so leave your right leg bent. And we'll reach for our left foot. Inhale for length. And exhale, reach for the left foot. See if you can soften a bit through the belly, soften through the muscles of the face. Maybe the gaze is right at the left knee, so there's no kind of cranking up motion through the neck, letting it um, be neutral as we just gaze down for another breath. And exhale, let it go. Come back up to a seated position and we'll go to the other side. So reach for your left leg. Rock gently from side to side. And from here for some support, lower that left hand, kick out that right leg. Sitting up nice and tall, take a breath in, squeeze your left leg in. And as you exhale, drop it up and over the uh, right leg. Once you've got that placement, top of the head reaching up towards the ceiling, inhale, reach the right arm up. And exhale, come into your twist. Your left hand maybe down on the mat for support. Top of the head is reaching up. And of course, again, notice the gaze here as you start to creep the gaze over the left shoulder. And another breath in. Exhale, come back through center and go over to the other side. Maybe you float right over if you'd like. And inhale to reach your left arm up. 
and just twist him over this way. Inhale. And exhale, let it go. Drop back towards center and release this left leg down to the floor for a seated tree pose. So the left knee is bent and let's reach for your right foot. Big breath in. And exhale, reach. And again, noticing where you can soften. So softening through the belly, softening through that right knee. Seeing if you can maybe fold just a bit deeper on your exhale. And press yourself up back um, to a seated position and we'll bring the soles of the feet together. You can always place pillows underneath your knees for some support in the hips and knees. Inhale, let the heart lift up. And exhale, maybe start folding the upper body towards the floor. You can use your inner elbows to press against um, your inner thighs. And then another option here is to start walking your hands out in front of you a bit. You can kind of start feeling a nice stretch through the upper back. Let the head hang heavy. And then using your hands, press your way back up to a seated position. Let's come into our child's pose. So keeping a nice calm presence about yourself and your practice. Staying movable here. So letting the knees come to the edges of your mat. Maybe the big toes to touch behind you. That feels okay. And then dropping down, finding your child's pose. So there's lots of modifications here. I always like to make sure that the forehead um, is in contact with something. And so you can do that by using a yoga block or allowing the forehead to rest gently on your hands. So you've got one forearm stacked on top of another. And in your child's pose, work on maybe softening through the hips, kind of letting them sink down towards your heels. And a big exhale, see if you can let the heart drop down towards the mat a little bit more. Fingertips are spread nice and wide if the hands are reaching out in front of you or engaging and pressing through the finger pads, bringing length to the arms. And as we do that, just kind of giving ourselves a little nudge and it sends the hips back and it kind of brings some length into the spine. So let's stay for three breaths. Really filling up on the inhales and fully softening through your exhales. And two more. <sighs> And deep breath in through the nose. And long, full exhale out through the mouth. And let's creep your way up to tabletop position. And so for me, that means kind of bringing my knees a bit closer in towards one another when we transition to that from child's pose. And let your wrists be underneath your shoulders. Stay gentle through the elbows. Your fingertips are spread nice and wide and just start taking some gentle circles in any sort of direction that feels good. Yeah, maybe here, really let your head kind of fully go so it's like the head and neck is hanging heavy. You can shake it yes, shake it no. And then from here, come back to a neutral tabletop Slide the knees back a bit. We're going to drop our hips down to just come right into that nice opening. And stay soft through your elbows. 
in, maybe you turn from side to side or you stay in the center. Big inhale, maybe you lift up, feel the heart open. And just for a moment, let's shift back to child's pose. So send the hips right back towards your heels. And allow the forehead and heart to find their way down towards the mat. And one breath, long inhale through the nose, nice and slow, breathe in. And then open the mouth a little bit long, exhale out through the mouth. And pressing your way back up, tabletop. Coming into a quick balancing exercise. From tabletop, engage the core. Keep your gaze right between your two hands. And lift your right foot back behind you. Engage the lower abs. Flex your right foot so the toes are facing down towards the ground. And we're really pressing the mat away from us. And from here, if you'd like, reach your left hand forward. Really reach through your left fingertips, and we're going to hold here for five. Keep breathing. And three, two, and one. Exhale, lower down, tabletop. And again, remember to stay soft so we're loose and kind of fluid in the joints. All right, to the other side. Left foot back behind you. Take a look down at your hands. Make sure the index fingers are facing 12 o'clock. Again, press the earth away from you, engage the core, and option to lift your right hand forward, keeping the gaze down between, well, not between the two hands if you're lifting your right. So just near that left hand gazing down. And five, four, three, Two and one, exhale, soften and release. Let's slide our hands over towards the left edge of our mat and bring your right foot forward. And when you're ready, a hand on either side of the foot, your right toes are facing forward. And before we go anywhere, let's kind of stay here and feel this nice opening through our left quadriceps, so the left hip flexors, and this can be a really nice place to stretch and open to kind of loosen up those hip flexors. So we've got our fingertips on the ground for support. If this is tough for you, if you have two yoga blocks, this is a good spot for them below the hands. We'll come into a twist on either side. Leave your left hand down on the mat. And as you inhale, twist and reach up and open with that right hand breath in. And exhale, let it go. To the other side, inhale, lift and reach. And exhale, let it go. And again, breath in, reach. Twist open, exhale, drop it down. And the last twist here, big breath in and reach. And exhale, release down. Tuck your back toes under if they aren't already, and we'll shift back to our runner stretch. So let your hips work their way towards the back edge of the mat. And your front leg is working towards being straight. For a deeper stretch through the back of uh, your right foot, you can flex your right toes towards your face to really get a nice opening through your right calf. And as the upper body starts to fold and move a bit closer towards that right foot, that stretch on the right leg should be getting a bit deeper. <sighs> Start to shift your weight to a low lunge. So we're gonna drop our right foot Hands are on the ground, tuck this back toe under, and lift the back knee if that's feeling okay. 
Uh, from here, we'll bring our way into a pyramid pose. So we're going to step our um, back foot up and out. Maybe bring your hands forward a bit more. And this left heel is grounded down. Your left toes are facing up at the top left-hand corner of your mat. So if this is feeling too tight, you can um, bend your knees or place the, your feet like they're on train tracks. And drop the head. Let the spine lengthen down towards the floor. Awesome. We will shift into a um, modified airplane. So right foot stays down on the floor, creep your hands forward a bit and start lifting your left foot. So we've got the option to stay here in this airplane or if you'd like to try a half moon pose. We're going to leave your right hand down on the floor. And we are going to twist this top hip over the right. So now the hips are open and the left arm reaching up towards the ceiling. So I'm flexing my left foot. Stay soft wherever you can. So through the right knee, another breath in. And wherever you are, exhale, come into a forward fold. Maybe the feet are hips with distance apart. Bend your knees and relax. Yeah, let the head and neck release. And shake it out. Inhale, take a halfway lift while we're here. Let the hands come to your shins. Uh, shoulder blades are now wrapping up the spine as your heart pulls forward. And exhale, fold, let it go. And two more times. Inhale, lift halfway, really press through the feet. Let your heart pull forward, your hips pull back. Exhale, fold. And again, inhale, lift halfway. So we've got space between the shoulders and the ears and the back of your neck should be long. <laughs> And exhale, fold, let that go. Bring your hands to your mat and come back to your tabletop. And now bringing your hands over towards the right edge of your mat, slide your left foot forward. And from here, adjust yourself. So if you're, you feel more comfortable with your right knee back a bit more or forward, do whatever feels good for you and let this left um, ankle be underneath your left knee and your left toes facing forward. Got the hands down on the floor for some support. And let's melt into the hips. So feeling an opening through the right quadricep and also a bit through this, the left hip. We'll come into our twists. So leave your right hand down on the mat. Inhale, reach the left arm up to the ceiling. And exhale, drop and lower down. Inhale, reach up. So staying really light. See if you can reach just a bit more. And exhale, release. And each side one more time, breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, big twist up. Exhale, release. Okay, tuck the back toes under and start sending your hips right back towards uh, the back edge of your mat. Runner stretch. And even in this pose, just how uh, we were in our halfway lift, let there be some space between the shoulders and ears. So if you find yourself kind of curling up, see if you can maybe let this, let the upper body kind of be in a halfway lift, sort of. So you are feeling an opening through the heart, the spine is feeling pretty straight. So if that's something you want to try out, maybe see how that feels. 
<sighs> Begin to find your way back to your low lunge. So hands on the floor, tuck your back toes under and lift your back knee. Step forward into your pyramid pose. So stay light, maybe bend your knees and a step forward up and out with that right foot. We want to ground out through our heels and fold over your left thigh. So sometimes in this pose, you can have a tendency for that right hip to kind of just be like kind of twisting open. So we avoid that by pressing into the feet, hug the belly button in towards the spine and kind of allow the torso to fold over your left thigh. So really engaging, rounding down through the legs. And then let your head and neck go. We'll come into our modified airplane. So uh, shifting the hands forward a bit more and lifting your right leg. Same situation here, the right hip may have a tendency to peel open, but in modified um, airplane, we want to be like how we were just kicking our right foot um, out for that tabletop. We want this right hip to stay pointing down towards the floor. Okay, so either stay here or shift into that half moon. So the left hand is gonna stay on the floor and adjust it to wherever you feel supported. You're really grounding down, use your core and your right hand will lift up towards the ceiling. Flex your left foot for some support. We're just twisting this left hip over the left. Engage this, well engage everything. Engage the legs, take a breath in. Exhale, soften everything, soften the knees and lower down forward folds. Nice. Whew. So feet are about hips width distance apart. Bend your knees, how about a ragdoll pose? Grab your opposite elbows. And shake from the right and the left. <sighs> Gently release the hands down. We'll do that halfway lift three more times. So press through the feet, inhale, lift halfway. Let your hands come to your shins. And exhale, release. And two more times. Inhale, halfway lift. See if you can feel all four corners of your feet grounding down to the mat. Breathe out and fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Space along the neck, shoulders pulling away from your ears. Exhale, release, let it go. All right, come up to stand, but let it be Slow and juicy, so press through the feet, hug your chin towards your chest, let the spine round up. Let the shoulders roll and melt down the back. Big inhale now. Bring the hands up high towards the ceiling, open the heart, and exhale, fold. Even as we fold, have a soft bend through the knees. Have sun salutations. Inhale, and lift halfway. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, rise up to stand. Let the inhale bring you up, arms to the ceiling. Exhale, fold forward. Let the heart lead the way as you fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, press through your feet. Stand up nice and tall, roll the shoulders down and back, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, bring your hands to your mat, step back to a high plank. You can always modify your high plank by dropping your knees down to the floor. So the arms are uh, like how they were in our tabletop. Fingertips spread nice and wide. Shoulder width distance apart. Wrist right underneath your shoulders. And from here, let's shift into a side plank. So if you leave the right hand on the floor, 
Roll the body open and reach your left hand to the ceiling. To modify, you can drop your right knee to the mat and come back through center. Stay strong and we do that by engaging the core, focusing on our breath. Left hand down to the mat, twist and open. So I'm lifting my hips, using my core and reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. Breath in. Exhale, let it go. Come back to your high plank. Drop your knees, soften through those elbows, and sink your hips down. <sighs> okay. Let's tuck our back toes under. We're going to come up to downward facing dog. So you've got the option to kind of shift through a tabletop. You can always take a moment in child's pose. Whatever works for you in your practice. In downward facing dog, the feet are hips with distance apart, bend the knees a lot. Spread your fingertips and press down through the finger pads. We want to take the weight out of the wrists. Engage your arms and send your heart back towards your thighs. Downward facing dog. <sighs> Soften through the knees. Notice if the hips can lift a bit higher. And a nice big deep breath in. And exhale, let it go. As you exhale, can the heels work their way down towards the mat a little bit more? And let's start walking our feet up to our hands. Forward folds, top of the mat, bend the knees, and fold forward. Inhale, come into a halfway lift. And exhale, let that go. Let's set our left foot back behind us. We'll come into a crescent lunge on our right side. So we can start in a low lunge. Again, for balance support, separate the feet so it would be as if they were on train tracks. You've got a bend through your front knee and then back leg can either be like super really straight or if that doesn't feel okay, bring a soft bend to that back knee. And you can always drop your uh, left knee down to the floor. Press down through this right foot and reach the arms up. We'll do some movement here. So if movement in this pose is not good for you, don't feel like you have to do it. As you inhale, let's straighten and lift. And exhale, lower back down. Two more times. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. One more time. Inhale. And exhale, crescent lunge. And gently start to bring your hands down to the floor on either side of uh, the foot and drop the back knee. Now, let the upper body come up. So this is a bit different than the first pose we were in. The first pose we were in, we were like really sinking into our hip. But for this one, we kind of want to stay a bit lifted. So let that right foot be under the right knee. If it feels okay, place your hands on top of the uh, right knee. And if it feels okay, gently press into uh, that right thigh. Start lifting the heart maybe up and back a little bit. I'm feeling a little stretch through my um, left quad. As you exhale, Bring your hands down to the floor. So one on either side of the foot. Tuck your back toe under and we'll step back into that pyramid pose. So we're grounding down through our heels, folding over the right thigh. Left toes are angled up at the top left-hand corner of your mat and then let go in the neck. And step forward, forward fold. Mm -hmm. 
Inhale, take a halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Leave the hands down on the floor for support and step your right foot back. So we'll build a crescent lunge on the left side. You want your left toes facing directly forward with your left ankle under the left knee. And so if you feel okay here, we can let the upper body start to lift. So we're really strong in this lower half. We're super grounded down. Decide what to do with your back leg. You can always drop the back knee. If it feels okay, arms reach up. Going to do some movement here if you'd like. Inhale, press and lift. And exhale, lower down. Relax those shoulders if they're tensing up. Inhale, press and lift. Exhale, lower down. And last time here, breath in and lift. We've got palms facing one another. Spread those fingertips. And exhale, crescent lunge. Let the shoulders melt down the back. Another breath in. And exhale, bring the hands down to the mat on either side of the foot and drop your back knee. Awesome. And bring your hands to the top of your left knee. So again, not so much sinking and melting into the hip, still getting a little bit of a stretch through the quad, but not as much as um, that low lunge we started with at the beginning of this class. And breathe, so shoulder blades wrapping around the spine. Collarbone is nice and wide from east to west. And for a bit more of an opening, press the hands into the top of the leg. We don't want the heart lean up and back, maybe the neck too. And exhale, bring your hands down towards the mat. Tuck these back toes under. We'll step into that pyramid pose. So we bring our right foot up and out slightly. Adjust your hands and fold over your left thigh. <sighs> really grounding down through the feet. See if you can fold just a bit deeper. Another breath in. And exhale, let it go. Step forward, forward fold. <sighs> Gently lower down, so drop down to your bottom. Uh, we'll come to reverse tabletop. <sighs> awesome. Bring your hands behind you and let the fingertips face towards the, your heels. Gonna press into the hands, press into the feet, and lift the hips up. So if you've got any shoulder issues, this may not be the right um, pose for you. Any neck issues might not feel that great to let your neck hang back. So if that's the case, uh, hug the chin in towards the chest. And press and lift the hips up, another inhale. And exhale, let it go lower down. So adjust the hands. Now maybe the fingertips are facing towards the back edge of your mat. And just let your knees fall from side to side. And again, it's not like my hands are glued here, right? So I'm soft through my elbows. When I twist this way, this hand feels like coming up. Um, so I was reading a book once. It said, always be wiggle a ball. So always having some space to kind of wiggle if you need to. <sighs> All right, come back to center and come into a um, pigeon pose. So you're welcome to take this laying down on your back. If you'd like to take it seated up, we're taking uh, your right leg across your right ankle over your left knee. Got my fingertips and hands down on the ground for support. And for a deeper stretch, you can walk your left heel in closer and start hugging your left glute in. Kind of just hug everything in. 
And then maybe from here, press into the hands. Inhale, lift a bit in the heart. And exhale. <sighs> Through the nose, another big breath in. And exhale out. So however you've got to find your way out of this, let that right foot slip back down and switch your sides. And just breathing and noticing any sort of sensation as you come into this stretch. And go ahead, bring your left foot down to the floor. Lay all the way back. We'll come into waterfall. Feet go right up towards the ceiling. This can be really great right before bed, and you can just slide the, yourself right up to a wall, and um, then that's just less that you even have to do. And you're welcome to leave the feet just still and lifting up, or if there's a leg variation that you'd like to do, or maybe just moving the legs around, whatever you want. <sighs> From here, let's lower down the wall come into a spinal twist. So legs are extended out on your mat and we'll keep it simple. Just hug your right knee into your right shoulder, breath in as you squeeze in and exhale as you twist. As you twist, notice if you can allow the shoulders to stay down on the floor always got the option to place a yoga block or a pillow underneath your right knee. And then back up through center. Switch your legs. So now the right leg is out long on the floor and squeeze your left knee into your left shoulder. Inhale as you squeeze it in. And then as you exhale, guide the left leg up and over. So come on to the side of your right leg, sort of on your IT band or the lateral edge of the leg. Shoulders stay down. And from here, come back through center. Set up for our final resting pose. Option to squeeze both knees in towards the chest. And as you exhale, let everything go. So we'll just stay here for a moment. And I always like to offer and stay in this pose for as long as you'd like. So allow yourself to sort of just drop in. So close the eyes down. As you take an exhale, really let yourself soften so the ankles are toward the edges of the mat, the hands are just letting go, the arms are laid out. And while you're here, challenge yourself to take a deep breath in, maybe for a count of four or five in through the nose. Once you're there, hold for a count of maybe just one or two. 
And a longer exhale out to the mouth, count of five or six. So this can really enhance our feeling of relaxation. So go ahead and try that out. And start to bring your knees in towards your chest. Let your head, if you'd like, maybe rock from side to side. Start to wake things back up. So press your low back down into the mat. Squeeze those shins and knees in towards the chest. And then let's find our way up to a seated position. Okay, sit up nice and tall. Roll the wrists out for a minute, maybe. And big inhale, reach the arms up. Bring the palms together, right towards heart center. Roll the shoulders down the back and tuck your chin a bit. Thank you for practicing showing up on your mat. And may you all have a wonderful night. Namaste. If you ever have any questions, type it in the chat box. And uh, hopefully I will see you guys next Monday at 6 p.m. Thank you.